Oh my god, guys. Sorry, John. i got to stop you there. Right, before I get into this weekly vlog, I want to apologise. I didn't title the last week's vlog correctly. But anyway, take it away, John. Welcome to the video, and I hope that you are feeling awesome. All right, guys. It is stupid clock in the morning. I should be in bed with Yvonne right now, but no, I decided I'm going to get up and do a sunrise video today. Now, the place that I'm going to today, guys, is called Red Book Field. I have been there before, and if you watched a couple of weeks ago, I um, included that area in the vlog. Now, it's fantastic for views, and I can't wait to see what type of video I'm able to capture today. So, I am not that far now from the uh, location, and i got to say, I have really, really enjoyed literally listening to the birds on my way up to this location. All right, then. Time to go through the trees to get to the view. Look at that sky, though. Absolutely awesome. <laughs> well, anyways, let's uh, get to the uh, perfect position, and then I'll get to show you guys around. That sky looks so much brighter on camera than it actually is. I looked online for things that can locate the sun, so you have like a rough location to where the sun comes up, and I found this app, guys, and I was like, wait, it's literally about that percent literally off. Wow, guys, that sky is looking amazing. And I think it's time for a cup of coffee, sit down and enjoy the view. So cheers. Wow guys, I was just sat here doing a clip from my page and this plane just came from nowhere. Now those who've watched my vlogs for a while you would understand the next bit I'm going to say. Now I went out and done a time lapse of a sunset uh, a few weeks ago and I mentioned about the planes in the, in the sky and I thought well I've never really noticed those before. Another one heading towards the same location. Very, very interesting. Now most of you would be probably say, why is that very interesting? Now the first time I ever came to this location, right, was during COVID and I never seen any planes at all. And I've seen now three, maybe four. The uh, sun has just peeked through the clouds. Just look at that. See the, the rays there coming out through the clouds, fantastic. Anyway guys, speaking of fantastic, I don't know if you recall, but a couple of vlogs ago I mentioned I got myself a little seat to, I, when I go out and do my adventures, I've got something nice to sit on. So I'm currently sat in it now, just look at that, it's not too bad is it? And that guys only cost me £4.99, so that was a perfect buy from a charity shop. And the charity shop that I got this from is called Fireplace in Rugeley. And the best part is guys, it actually comes with a bag underneath, so I could store some stuff in here if I wanted to. I'm going to have to get myself packed up now because I need to head on home. But before I go home guys, I'm going to be popping to the common because I'm going to be doing a little bit of investigation work there. Now why am I doing that? Because I want to do get a sunset video for today now i already got the sunrise why not try and get the sunset my day is already packed with a lot of things i need to get on with so i've just added a huge project to the end of my day guys it's round two for time lapses and to be truthfully honest it has suddenly got really really windy but the sun is making that a little bit warm that i'm able to go in shorts and t-shirt for this bit well after a bit of hunting i found a uh, suitable location now how ironic i find the only place where there's actual uh, slab there so i could put my uh, stall there and i must admit not too bad it's not too bad i was speaking to a couple and they were saying are you doing something about this uh, the carnage has happened here and i was like no not this time but many years ago i wouldn't have been able to sit where i am now because this area here literally had a load of things that like, growing up on it is there a pigeon fight going over there it's amazing how many birds there is in this small area now those pigeons that I just showed you, I thought, what is that noise going on over there? And literally these two pigeons are full on fighting. And then you see little birds like flying, like little tiny little birds against these pigeons. And I'm like, whoa, they're like big beasts, aren't they, compared to the little ones? Okay guys, I have no idea what is going on here. There looks to be two um, helicopters sort of going around, like on a sort of a loop with each other. You know, what is going on? Now they're in this area, 
So they were over there and now they're over here. Some sort of training exercise. Hmm, that's very strange, guys. Now they've disappeared into that section. Okay, I wasn't expecting that, but um, if you know what type of helicopters that they are, could you let me know in the comments below? Because I'll be definitely interested in that one. We have intruders, guys. We have two young lads that come running into that area. And also, it looks to be their nan and granddad with them as well. Uh, it's so nice to hear this area being used for a bit of fun. I don't know what they're playing a the game of. It sounds like army and they're saying, oh, the tanks are coming and such. Absolutely a beautiful sunset there, guys, it was. It's that time now for me to head on home and I'm glad to be honest because it's now started to get very, very cold and I'm only still wearing my uh, shorts and t-shirt here. So let's just say I'm glad I don't live that far from where I am now. So I'll get home, get myself all nice and warm and uh, relax for the rest of the evening. Uh, it's crazy to think that this time yesterday, guys, I was out on that field capturing that beautiful view. Anyways, today I've got up at the crack of dawn again. Um, I've tried my best to get everything ready last night ready. So then when the guys come today to do the um, radiators, the hot water tank and the immersion, hopefully, fingers crossed guys, there's going to be nothing in their way. Wow, that's a big bee there guys. I am feeling kind of out of place so to speak i kind of feel like i can't get on with anything it's not is that weird do you ever feel like that when you have workmen around your house it's just a strange feeling and lucky enough they don't have to turn off the uh electricity which i thought they might have but for some reason they don't have to so i'm gonna be um pretty much chilling and playing some minecraft because i can't really get into doing editing because i need to concentrate on that it's really a shame that one you have to go to work and two I'm staying at home because today it would be absolutely fantastic to go out and do something together. After you, my lady. Let's get you off to work. Be responsible. Enjoy your shift. <laughs> Thank God that's all over with now. Everything has been done. The guys have not that long gone. And to be truthfully honest, it didn't take them that long either. I am actually pleased that Yvonne's got herself a taxi home because usually I'll pick her up on a Wednesday. I didn't know what time these guys are going to be finished today, so we've had to play it safe. Well, guys, Yvonne's just messaged me to let me know she's finished work and she's waiting for her taxi. So what I thought is we'll wait here for her and give her a bit of like a hello and welcome home type thing. Hello. 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 The worker returns. Don't you look fab in your new uniform? Oh, I'm so glad to see you because I hate having strange people in our house. It's absolutely <laughs> strange for me. But anyways, we're going to go and chill for a bit and then I'm going to show Yvonne the new radiators and everything. Nothing like a nice hot cup of coffee in the morning. This last two weeks with all of this working and early starts and everything is really taking its toll on me. But anyways, I'm going to go upstairs now and get myself dressed in my new uniform. So next time you'll see me, I should be wearing my new uniform. And just like that, guys. Look at that. What do you reckon, eh? And i got to love this little bit of red line in there. Even if it does look a bit orange on the uh, camera. Look how beautiful the sky is right now. Absolutely amazing, guys. And I must admit, I am absolutely having a really, really good shift on tonight. I am looking forward, though, to finishing because there's something I haven't mentioned yet, guys. You've got Mother's Day around the corner, right? I do get presents from the cats to give to Yvonne. After all, she is a mother. So I've got the uh, bits and bobs I needed to get for Yvonne's Mother's Day uh, presents. And now I'm going to be heading towards the area where uh, KFC is going to be here. And as you can clearly see, they have made progress today. All this work you can see here now is literally not being far off done today. I'm quite surprised how big this area is because before they actually got going on this area, it looked very, very small. But anyways, I'm going to be heading into town to see if I get that one last present for Yvonne. And like I say, when you're in town, you've got to go and visit the brook. So uh, how is she doing today? Oh, nice and calm. 
So I've got that present I was looking for and thank God that they had it still in stock. And the place where I am at now is called Fireplace in Rugeley. And it's the same place where I got that stall that I showed you earlier in the uh, week. But anyways, I'm going to pay for this now. And then I'm going to definitely get on the road to get home and uh, chill for the rest of the day. That's what I feel like doing. Wow, well, guys, they have definitely got a good bunch of flowers here. And to be truthfully honest, I'm not too sure whether I should get Yvonne some of these flowers or I should look somewhere else. Well, I've chosen to go for this hydrangea. Now, the reason why I've chosen to go for some that is alive, I'm hoping that, you know, this might last her a long time because she said that she would like to have some of these sort of in the garden. So, fingers crossed... This will turn into a big, big, big plant. <laughs> that was so hard, guys. I was trying to get me and Yvonne to be synchronized or walking, but unfortunately, either I can't do it or Yvonne couldn't do it there. Look, Look we both want our nice new uniform, oh, eh? Yes. Look at that, eh? <laughs> well, guys, me and Yvonne just got spotted. This lady and gentleman went, we know you, and we're like, Okay, maybe because we're working Tesco's and the lady goes, no, I watch your videos. And Yvonne said to me that she can't go anywhere now without being recognised. Isn't that right? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look who we have. We have Yvonne. And she's awake before the sun is up. You've never actually seen a sunrise, have you? Uh, not unless it's actually like on camera where you're watching it, but actually in person. No. <laughs> there you go guys, it's always good to do that thing for the first time. It looks like Yvonne's getting herself prepared to do a little bit of recording. And we are now finally set up, look at our setup. We've got Yvonne that chair there yesterday, got my little stool there, got all my bag and such. But then we also got the uh, time lapse happening here. The sun is coming up now. Look at that. That there, guys, what I'm pointing at is the top of the sun coming up over the horizon. Let's just say I think Yvonne likes this location and also I'm thinking she likes doing sunrise videos as well because she was sat in the chair for literally ages holding her camera like that. And it was like, are you still recording? She was like, yeah, yeah. She goes, I want to get my first video of the sunrise. And I was like... Oh, do you reckon you'll come back again? I will do, yes. Will do when it's a little bit warm, more little warmer. A little bit warmer. I have to say, and I will say this: I don't think my video does it justice. I must admit, none of the videos that I've ever captured of the sun never does it enough justice. And now that you've got a very good point there. Now I would love to get a camera that I can attach to myself, like a head cam, that type of thing. That would be absolutely good to use. Sort of my vision to what I'm looking at in a sense. Well guys, I can honestly say I think Yvonne loved her uh, sunrise, did you? 100% yes. Now why did you enjoy it? Uh, the beauty of it. The vibrant colours. Well, I've got to say, the view that we've got in front of us looks absolutely beautiful. And I love it how the sun hits the trees. It does that sort of lighting to it. It's all very magical and, I don't know, as Yvonne says... Nature's beauty. There you go. It's absolutely so beautiful in the morning in this area. Did you or did you not think it was worth it getting up at four o'clock this morning in order to come out today? Yes, it was worth it. It was. We've decided to take a little bit of a pit stop before we got home. So we have Yvonne just a little perched up just there, guys. And we're right actually next to Style Cop Cemetery in Rugeley. And it is a very, very, I hate to put a pun here, but a very, very peaceful area to come. Because all you can hear is a gentle, you know, tweetering of the birds. Just a really, really nice area to come. And plus, we have the beautiful sun there. So as I said, we're going to take a little bit of a break here, maybe have a hot drink and uh, enjoy the beautiful scenery. Well, we've uh, enjoyed our little bit of time we spent there. And to be truthfully honest, me and Yvonne were like, reflecting quite a lot upon a lot of things in our life, to be honest. And I don't know about you, but did you feel like you had time to sort of go over things in your head and go, well, actually, look at what we have. Look yeah. at the things that we can do. Time to reflect and enjoy the peace and quiet and tranquility. And to be truthfully honest, I am looking forward to getting out of these clothes, getting into something much more comfy, 
sitting down and chilling with a nice hot cup of coffee and a hot cup of tea for Yvonne there. Definitely. Oh yes. <laughs> right, let's get home. Wow, guys, the sun is just so warm right now. I've got the window open in here. However, I've actually got the door shut because I'm wrapping up Yvonne's Mother's Day presents. One thing I absolutely love to do, guys, is try and get the wrapping paper to match the pattern. This is what I'm talking about here. This kind of try, if you push that there, that would line up with that bit there. So that's one thing I like to do with wrapping up um, paper is trying to get the pattern to match up. I don't know, maybe it's an OCD thing. I got a clue, guys. Beautiful sky we've got this morning, guys. And I couldn't wish for any better weather for Mother's Day. Now, Yvonne is still asleep upstairs. I have literally got downstairs, I've done the dishes, I've fed the cats, and I've got literally everything prepared. So when she wakes up, she comes downstairs and she gets to open up all her presents and see what wonderful things she's got. Also, guys, today we are also going to see Yvonne's mum and give her her presents as well. So today is going to be double whammy Mother's Day type thing. Ooh, it sounds like Yvonne is awake. Is Yvonne awake? Oh. Happy Mother's Day. Why are you sitting in bed when you have <laughs> presses downstairs? Oh, oh, you going to get out of bed? Yes. When? Now. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Come on, get you out of bed. You've got Mother's Day stuff. Well, guys, I can honestly say I think the cats did their job well this time because Yvonne has been wowed by every single present. Now, Yvonne, I've got a question for you. What have you enjoyed the best about all of your presents today? I'd say it would be the hydrangea plant, because it's an indoor plant, which I didn't know they did. No, that's very true, isn't it? Yes. And i got to be honest, guys, when I was wrapping that plant up, I didn't realise it was an indoor plant. I was like, uh-oh, because I know that Yvonne said that she wanted one for the garden. Yeah, for um, quite some time I've been wanting to get a new hydrangea, and obviously they're an outdoor plant, or that's how I associate them as an outdoor plant. So when it was like reading the label going indoor, I didn't know they did them in no plants. So as you can tell, guys, that's definitely a new thing there for Yvonne. But anyways, we're about to uh, get ourselves all set up now to um, have some breakfast. And then we're going to have to get dressed because, like I said to you, we are going to Yvonne's mum's. And that is going to be very, very interesting because not only we're going to be doing Mother's Day presents, we're also going to be helping her out about in the garden and such. And I believe, what is it you said she had for me to do? I think you've got to cut some branches. Branches. Branches, yeah. It's not hard work though, is it? No, it's not. As far as I'm aware of, no. Well, guys, so as you can uh, tell, it's going to be a bit of a mix mash of days. So I'm going to try my best to capture most of it. But... However, we are now off to go and see Yvonne's mum and go spend some time with her. So uh, let's hit the road. I've got to admit, it was a nice journey over. And to be truthful honest, me and Yvonne were saying, how many cars are actually on the road on a Sunday is absolutely amazing. Why are these people out? Why are they not in bed? What is it you said it should be? Um, quiet, peaceful, family time. Exactly, peaceful. Stay at home. Stay at if home. If you can. If you can, that is. Guys, I've got to confess that this weather is doing me nothing. However, I decided to set up a time lapse here. So just there, guys, is the uh, time lapse happening. We're about to have a bite to eat and then we're going to get cracking on sorting out Yvonne's mum's shed. And also, I've got to get rid of some of this. Right, that stuff there, guys. And also, there's a pile of stuff just over here. It needs to be gone today. Now, got to be honest, guys, I am quite impressed with Yvonne's mum, actually, because uh, last time we came here, we took down, I think, four conifer trees and they were huge. All righty, guys, it's that time to get rid of all of that. And all of this, hoping this isn't going to take me too long because if you look at the weather, it's uh, definitely got cloudier and it's getting a bit more cold now. As you can see, I've got myself a nice saw here, so I'm going to get cracking and get this stuff cut up. 
Wow, to be truthfully honest guys, that didn't really take me that long. Now I've cleared up all of the branches along all here and I've cut them up in that little area there and I've put them all in a nice little pile there. So uh, now I'm going to be looking through the shed to see what good quality wood that we've got. Well, I've just looked at this wood here guys and it doesn't look too bad but for what I need it for it needs to be a little bit better than that. The thing is guys, I'm making a roof for the cold bunker in the garden and I need to have a specific type of wood. Well guys, I'm glad that Yvonne's mum allowed us to look in her shed because uh, at least we can say yes or no to the wood. However, Yvonne's actually cutting her mum's hair right now and then we're going to have a bit of a rest and then see what else we can get up to. Well, we're getting ready to leave now to uh, head on home, but I've just looked up at the sky and if you recall from a couple of vlogs ago where I came to Yvonne's mum's before, I showed you some uh, pigeons that were flying around in a circle and I found out that they're actually racing pigeons and they belong to uh, one of the houses living nearby here. Well, they were flying around over this area. Oh, hang on. There you go. I have definitely enjoyed my uh, day here at Yvonne's mum's and uh, lucky enough we got to see um, her brother for a bit because he's more of a uh, night owl and he stays up during the night so it was nice to say a quick hi and a quick bye to him basically but yeah it's been a fun day and uh, I'm glad that we've came out here today and the best bit is guys it's the first time since me and Yvonne's been together that we've been able to spend Mother's Day with Yvonne's mum so it's been absolutely awesome but anyway as I said we're packing up now and then we're going to head on home well guys it's that time now for me and Yvonne to go and hit that road again and I've got to be honest I've really enjoyed today have you enjoyed today? very much so so unfortunately guys this is where we're going to have to love and leave you for this weekly vlog so we both want to say a huge thank you to you awesome people for coming by and always remember to do your best to stay positive and scroll those negatives oh yeah baby and we'll see you on the next one alright bye bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.